won't impair no more, no evil, nor the harm of wings, nor the wicked feathers, nor the menace of head, that all the earth may be refreshed, right? So the earth is going to go back in its order. It's going to have laws that's going to judge the people in righteousness, right? Oh, 11, 11. And they return me what, to the former, not where into righteousness, right? Being delivered from like violence because the white men, and when you read the book of Revelation chapter 6, it shows that the white man is the pale horse that have that take peace from the earth. How the white men take peace from the earth? Of the earth? By, of all the other nations at war, right? They go to Iraq. Before the Iraqi war, they, they know was not at war with one another. There was in peace, right? Now, when the white man went to Iraq, you got Afghanistan, all the people is at war. So the Bible tells you that the earth, when the white man came to power, they take peace from the earth, right? And then it said, be delivered from thy violence, and that she may hope for the judgment and mercy that him that made her. So when the white man, when Christ come back, he's going to destroy the hell out of these so-called Jews. Every one of them, man. Over there, chapter 1, verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. So for the violence against the so-called niggas by the so-called white man, the Lord said, shame is going to cover the so-called white man. Come on. And thou shalt be cut off forever. And thou shalt be cut off forever. Jump to the 15th verse now. Verse 15. Come on. For the day of the most high is near upon all the heathens. The heathens are all the non-Jews. The people that's not on that side, like the whites, Chinese, Japanese, Africans. The day of the Lord is upon all them too. Come on. As thou hast done. As thou hast done. Come on. It shall be done unto thee. It shall be done to them. Come on. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Come on. For as ye have jumped upon my holy mountain. Now who's the holy mountain? You so-called Negroes and Spanish. The Lord said, as they have jumped upon the Lord's holy mountain. Come on. So shall all the heathen drink continually. So shall what? So shall all the heathen drink continually. Uh, so shall all the heathen, the non-Jews, like the so-called white man, Chinese, Japanese, so shall they drink. The same slavery they gave us, they're going to drink continually. The right. same oppression they gave us, they're going to drink continually. The same robbery and hell they gave us, they shall drink continually. That's the Bible says. Come on. Yeah, they shall drink. And they shall swallow down. They're going to drink it all down. Come on. And they shall be as though they have not been. That's like you. It's like you. nobody recognized you as a Jew. Your power and glory is going to be stricken from you. You understand? They're going to, all their power is going to be taken away from you. You have to remember them as great people and they're going to be as they know they never been. Come on. But, but upon Mount Zion shall be, shall be delivered. Upon Mount Zion, you so-called Negroes, you're Mount Zion. You're the monument of the Lord. The Lord said, they shall be delivered. Come on. And there shall be holiness. And there shall be holiness. Come on. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. In the house of Jacob, you so-called Negroes, you're going to possess everything they got. The same way they ripped up and robbed it from you, you're going to possess it all. All this is in the Bible. Come on. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. See, now check this out. The Lord said, we're going to be like a fire. We're going to have power through the spirit of the Most High. Come on. And the house of Joseph, a flame. And the house of jo Joseph, the so-called Puerto Ricans, and all the northern tribe. You know what I'm saying? Like the Mexicans, Dominicans, they're going to be like fire and they got power too. Come on. And the house of Esau for now, stomach. Now we back on the white man. And the house of who? And the house of Esau. And the house of Esau, who lived, who lived by the sword, who was ordained to live by the sword, all the way from Genesis to Ezekiel, now we in Obadiah. Come on. For stumble. For stumble. Come on. And they shall kindle in them Come on. and devour them. See, we're going to kindle them, we're going to burn them up and devour them. The Bible tells you. Come on. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. And there shall be none left of the house of the so-called white race, yep. the children of Esau. None of them shall be delivered. That's see, right. None of them are going to be around after that. That's in the Holy Bible. You're going to get that in the churches. You're not going to get that in the churches. So when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? First Thessalonians 4, 16. When Christ comes back, when Christ comes back and we set up in the kingdom and they serve hardcore slavery, that's what that's best when that's going to be. We're going to read it now. Read that. First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. Come on. For the Most High himself shall descend from heaven. So the Most High, read it again. For the, for the Most High himself shall descend from heaven Come on. with a shout. With the voice of the archangel, when Christ comes back, he's going to come back with great power. You understand? He's going to crack what they call the heavens with the archangels and the chariots of God. Come on. And with the trump of the Most High. And the trump of the Most High. That's going to be the warning cry that this end time is here. Come on. And the dead in Christ 
She'll rise first. So all who died in the faith, they're going to rise up to the chariots of God first. You understand? Come on. Then we which are alive. Then we keep the faith, know the truth, and come into the faith. Then we what? Then we which are alive. Then we which are alive. Come on. And remain. Come on. Shall be caught up together. Come on. With them in the clouds. See, with them in the clouds. What's the clouds? The chariots of God. What That's you right. call a UFO? Get an IFO. Get a UFO. Get a chariot to the most high. You understand? So we got there's a whole bunch I can go into, but the brother gotta come up. You understand? But we got a glorious future. You know who the white man is? You know who the white man is? You know his future and you know your future. Read your Bibles. Read your Bibles. You understand? The truth is here. The white man's world is done. Watch the news. And keep an eye on this thing with um with Britain breaking off from the EU. For the next two years, you're gonna see some hell coming down from that. You understand? Because money is gonna get tight. You think 2008 was bad? It's gonna get worse than that. They're getting ready to do some serious things around the world. You watch. Remember, you heard it here. All right, give the brother a round of applause. Well done. All right, in the name of Yahweh Bashram, of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, again, for you brothers and sisters, this is about your nation. It's high time for you to wake up. Now is the time for Israel and our people to wake up. You're no more niggas no more. Remember that. You're no more niggas. Now you know your nationality. How about that? All right? You're no more African Americans either. All right, how about that? The Africans don't care about you. You're Hebrew Israelites. Understand this. So it's high time for our people to wake up by the sleep. See? That's why you gotta understand something. The last day is here. A lot of our people are not gonna make it out of America, okay? <laughs> Yahweh Shine, okay, who the world entity called Christ is going to redeem the remnant of our people out of America, all right? Not all of our people are going to make it. This is why it's time for you now to begin to really be faithful and to really show some diligence and faith to the most high. But our people, you need, what do you need? Our people need now to really show themselves to be faithful in Yahweh Shine, okay? You got to show yourself to be really into who you are and what, what's gonna come uh, in these last days. For your Yahweh Shai to come save you, you really gotta show something. You really gotta show something for your Yahweh Shai to save you. And this ain't gonna be just like no church where you just say, name Jesus and you be saved. It's not gonna happen that way, okay? All right, but furthermore, Christ's name is not Jesus, it's not Jesus Christ, all right? It's Yahweh Shai. Understand that. Okay, for the Heavenly Father is showing us, uh, get Luke 177, and then get uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. He said, you're going to be saved, now it's high time to wake up, for now you're going to be saved through the knowledge and wisdom. is the stability of thy times. This is what he teaches us. So are you willing to uh, uh, crave and get wisdom and knowledge? If you're not, then the Heavenly Father will spew you out of his mouth, he won't even accept you. So now it's time for you to understand that. The churches have lied to you. They are finished, man. The churches are finished. That's why you brothers and sisters, you walk around the streets of America not knowing who you are is the worst thing in the world. Mm. Furthermore, nationality is the most fundamental thing on earth. Know who you are, man. Know who you are. Know where you come from. Know your language. Know your land. Know all that. See? You need knowledge now. See? This is why Trump is running around saying he gonna take America back from you. Because they tired of niggas. They tired of you. They tired of paying you welfare, food stamps, disability, all that stuff. And they gonna cut all that off. Yep. This is why it's high time for you to wake up. Okay, read that, Ben. Luke 177. Luke 177. To give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. Eh? Knowledge of salvation to the people, his people. The Heavenly Father is talking about the nation of Israel. That's his people. Did he say everybody? No, he didn't say everybody. So everybody is talking about the Lord love everybody or a bunch of damn liars. They're a bunch of liars. Knowledge of salvation is only given to the nation of Israel. And that's the so-called Negro, Western Haitian, Puerto Rican. That's the so-called imposter over there in Israel. All right? The Lord is not dealing with them. That's why it's high time for you to wake up. Gains of knowledge. And the knowledge that Heavenly Father is talking about is biblical history. Your heritage. That's knowledge. 
knowing how to rap ain't knowledge. Being a hip hop star is not knowledge. 